So you've got logos in Football Manager, but some teams don't have kits. And adding them extra graphics to Football Manager can make it beautiful. It really can. Now, if you are excited for Football Manager 2024, if you are in the middle of playing FM 2024, or you are enjoying my content, please make sure you do go down and subscribe to my channel. Every subscription really does help. It's free to do so, and it really does boost my ego. Now, in today's video, I'm going to show you how we are going to add kits into the game. So, we're on Vicon Stavanger. We've added the logos. We don't have any kits. We really need to fix that and get kits into the game. So, first off, we need a place to get kits. And for me, FM Slovakia is the pinnacle of kits in Football Manager. So go on to Google, put in FM Slovakia, and they make kits which are absolutely beautiful and always up to date, which is just insane. Top, top work from them. I, I just love going here and picking up. You can see here, downloads, for example, kits. And we go to, look at that as well, goes back 10 years as well. So if you have a team you really like from 10 years ago, you can probably find their kits. But go to the new ones, then you've got the list here. So the English Championship, English Premier League, for example, click view. There's this year's kits. Chelsea one looks nice. I do like the gold badge. Media Fire download. Download to straight away. Then it will appear in your download folder. So if we imagine this one here is my download folder, you can see here I have kits. I, I've already downloaded all my kits, but you have kits. And if we go into it, you can see within here I have all of my actual kits. So what we need to do first off... In, in my document, Sports Interactive FM24 Graphics, make sure you have a kits folder. So you just go to new folder and name it kits. Simple as that. So my documents, Sports Interactive FM24 Graphics, and then you've got your logos, you've got your kits. So if I just drag over my kits one in here, it's there and ready. Then what you would do is you go in the kits, so you're on the screen here, and you would just put the kits you downloaded into here. So if you download the English Premier League, you just drag it straight over into here. Then it is ready to go. Load Football Manager up. Go on to FM. Go to Preferences. Now, I just adjust one thing, just so it gives me the option of reset. Go to Reset. Clear Cache. Yes. And we're going to click Confirm. And then we go under the Club Vision. Sorry, Club Info. And as you can see, it hasn't worked. The kits have not come on. Now, this is a regular issue within Football Manager. And to fix this, you've got to go onto a different folder. So here, you are going to go to your Windows folder, Users, Paul, App Data. Obviously, it wouldn't be called Paul for you. App Data, Local, Sports Interactive. There, I've got a few of the older ones. FM24. And you can see here, Cache folder. Just delete it. Just press Delete on it. There we go. It's gone. Now for me, go back to Football Manager and just close the game. Just completely close it and load it back up. Just wait for the game to load back up now. I'm clicking because I'm impatient. It's not going to help. The more I click, it's not, it's not, the game's not going to go. Look, he, he wants us to load quicker. Here we go. So let's load the Viking Stavanger save again. See the logos are still there, which is nice. Then we go into Club Info, and now we have the kits. So if you install something, go to Preferences, clear the cache, and it doesn't work, then you follow the the plan I told you, and that will work. Then your kits and everything are within the game. And I like this Viking kit. This is a couple of years old now, but where they've got the black logo. Beautiful, by the way. I think I've got it somewhere. This white one I think I've got from the Cup Final. In uh, ninety um, in two thousand nineteen, I'm sure I've got somewhere in the house. But that's how you install kits in Football Manager. If you did find this helpful, please make sure you go and subscribe, like the video, comment below. I'll see you next time.